couldn't believe this, and so I wrote down, you know, cast right from there, and uh, um, we'll put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. And it was humorous. Tonight, we're following a developing story as a Carmel City leader jokes that the city council will be shot and the mayor castrated if the debt is not resolved. While he intended it to be a joke, it was no laughing matter when it was accidentally included in an information packet given to council members this week. Our TV6 reporter Ebony Monet has been following this story all day and joins us live in Carmel with the full story. Ebony. Tonight I spoke to the council president who made that joke and he explains to me that he recently had eye surgery and he was unable to review the documents before they went out and while he says he was being funny, he says the city's debt is a real concern. In Carmel, the back and forth about debt is frustrating taxpayers and city leaders alike. This issue comes up like every six months. It seems like Carmel's on the, the front page of the paper about a debt or a crisis or there's some financial whatever and it's like, it's crazy. A May report from the Carmel Redevelopment Commission suggests a special benefits tax to pay off an estimated $486 million obligation through 2037. Carmel Clerk Treasurer Diana Cordray is requesting an independent audit to assess the risk to taxpayers. Cordray writes, it's my belief that the interest of Carmel taxpayers are placed at increasing risk as a result of the CRC's lack of transparency. While Mayor Jim Brainard points out Carmel has the lowest taxes of any major city in the state and the largest rainy day fund in Indiana. He goes on to say this is simply politics in advance of next May's primary election. It is regrettable in that misinformation such as this has the potential to hurt the reputation of our city. But City County President Eric Seidensticker thinks the request for an independent audit is reasonable. The bottom line is that the taxpayer is the one who's ultimately responsible for it. So when you have so many complicated um, investment uh, elements, you know, it, it does make sense that uh, everybody has uh, complete knowledge of all of the obligations. Um, is, you know, have I heard, you know, oh, up, upwards of a billion dollars? Yeah, I have. Taxpayers are also hearing the differing debt projections and question what this means for the future of Carmel. Mayor Brainard says the release of this so-called joke is a result of sloppy work of the clerk treasurer and the immaturity of both the clerk treasurer and the council president. And he says the people of Carmel deserve better. Reporting live in Carmel, Ebony Monet, RTV6. Third things up in Carmel tonight, Ebony.